That is country star Easton Corbin with his huge hit, Didn't Miss a Beat. And Easton is coming to Vegas next month, performing at Encore Beach Club at the win on June 11th. And he joins us now live to tell us more about it. And uh, I don't know, catch up with you, Easton. How are you doing? I'm doing great, buddy. How you doing? I am good. Okay, first of all, you're going to be at a, a beach club in June, okay? Are, are you prepared for the Vegas heat? Is it going to be a day or night show? I think it's an afternoon show. Okay. I think so. That's okay. Are you, you now? You're from originally from Florida and you in Nashville, right? I am. All right. So you know about heat, and, and at least you won't have the humidity. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It's pretty humid where I'm from, so yeah. at least we don't have that. That's that's a good thing. Now, I got to tell you, you know, I I've been here long enough uh, to to kind of see where these concerts go uh, on the beach, and most of them, I got to say, most of them are like DJ type or or hip hop. I, there's not a lot of country acts that play at the pool. Is that, were you surprised to get the invite? Yeah, it's, it's a, definitely a unique show. I, I've never really played that atmosphere. So, I mean, it'll be something different, but I'm sure it'll be fun. Yeah, no, for sure. I think so too. That's a really good beach club too, Encore Beach. Um, now on the same day you're performing, which is June 11th, apparently Billy Ray Cyrus's daughter Brandy will be DJing. I mean, are you, do you have room for the Cyrus family? I mean, Miley or Billy Ray, they, someone could show up and, and chill at your show. Hey, hey, the more the merrier. It'll, it'll be a party. <laughs> uh, for sure. Okay, so I'm reading, um, now you know, I know that a lot of times uh, Wikipedia could be inaccurate, but did you watch Hee Haw? Did you actually get to like country music because shows like Hee Haw, or is that just something that they it, made up? Yeah, it's, well, I, so it's funny. Uh, I, I stayed a lot with my grandparents, and it's just funny. We would watch, like, Grand Ole Opry, and then, like, old reruns like Hee Haw would come yeah. on and stuff like that. But, I mean, that's not really where I got my influence from country music, honestly. Um, you know, country music's always been what I've really loved, and uh, it's just always been a part of my life. And um, But not necessarily for, not necessarily for Hee Haw. <laughs> I think it's sure. great. I mean, I love old reruns. Of, uh, of shows. Uh, unfortunately, I'm old enough to where I, I probably saw the first run of Hee Haw. So when, you, <laughs> when I saw that, I'm like, I got to ask you about that because you, you, they don't make shows like that uh, like, they, you know, like they used to. So uh, kudos for, to your grandparents for at least exposing you to that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, you're also, you know, you've won a ton of awards. Um, you've had singles, you know, of course, gold. Uh, and you're constantly working on new music. Uh, what, what's the go-to song that, that your fans insist you play? I mean, does it roll with it or a little more country than that? Or what's, what's the go-to? Uh, probably a little more country than that for sure, since that was my first hit. You know, that's the one that really got it started for me. And, uh, yeah, I definitely play that one every night. Absolutely. Now, have you, um, I know you've been in Vegas. So you, I, you know, we, we've talked about you on, I do the on tour report on Friday. So I've, I've mentioned you before. Uh, has it been a while since you've been out here? Uh, yeah, it's, it's been a little bit, but uh, I can't, when was I left there last? I, I can't remember. It's, it's probably been about a year, yeah. not too long, but uh, yeah, we get out there about once or twice a year for sure. Who are your uh, influences? Like, who did you, uh, if it wasn't the, the, the cast of Hee Haw, <laughs> uh, who, who were your uh, musical influences? <laughs> uh, you know, for me, it had to be Merle Haggard, Keith Whitley, George Jones. You know, I definitely steer more towards the traditional side. But, yep. uh, you know, for me, it's always about keeping one foot in the traditional and one foot in the modern and kind of marrying those things. Yeah, absolutely. I have uh, I have on on my favorites list. I'm not I'm not even a huge country guy, but but I like the old stuff. My parents grew up uh, actually teaching two step dance lessons, uh, so I go way back. But you mentioned Merle Haggard, and uh, you know, just sit here and drink is is just a a classic song. I have I got that on auto tune. Great song, right? Great song, man. <laughs> yeah. All right. Tell everybody once again when you're going to be out here and uh, where people can go. Yeah, June 11th, uh, be at the Encore Beach Club, win Las Vegas. Uh, I'm on every social media platform yeah. you can think of. We'll find you. You know, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. So check uh, it out. Very cool. Hey, Easton, thanks for uh, taking a few minutes of your busy schedule. Thanks. Hey, thanks, guys. Appreciate you so much. All right.